Hey everyone, I'm back with another video. So today I'm going to discuss a little about, bit about my glasses, um, how long I've had them for, and my journey with them. Um, I have a few pairs here over the years that I've worn. I think one or two of them have broken, um, so I no longer have those. <laughs> um, but um, also my vision as well so i'm going to put everything in one um yeah so let's get started um this is a requested video so thank you so much for your video request and i hope this is helpful and um yeah so when i was born um i was a premature baby um, I was born five weeks early. I was supposed to be born at the end of February, beginning of March, um, and I was born January 14th, so um, I was premature. I was an emergency C-section, but with... Um, my premature birth I ended up being born blind like I it affected my vision um, I was actually born with cataracts now the cataracts that I was born with would not affect my vision whatsoever um, I've never had a problem with my cataracts you know affecting me um, but um, yeah so that's the good thing about my cataracts. So um, I've had them my whole life. So, um, but when I was five years old, um, my teacher noticed that I was getting vision problems. I was having trouble seeing. Um, my work was either incomplete or just wasn't right. Um, and she told my parents, you know, maybe she needs to get um, an eye exam and turned out I had a problem with my vision. And the first time that I wore glasses, um, when I went to school, my teacher was actually um, walking us out to um, the field and the fence around the school, you know, I said out loud, I didn't know that there was a fence there and my teacher started crying and she hugged me and said I'm so glad you're able to see that because there's so much that you haven't been able to see and you know she got really emotional and I was really excited because I didn't even know a fence even existed at the, at the school but um, a I started wearing glasses around five um, and over the years um, my vision got a little worse and this is my very first pair of glasses this is what I wore at five years old <laughs> So that was my very first pair. I still have the case. This is a very old case. I don't even think they make these anymore. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so. The vision problems that I do have. Um, I have cataracts. I have astigmatism. I'm nearsighted. Um, and... There was something else. There was something else that affected my vision, but it's not bad. Um, it it's the same thing like having cataracts. Like you get blurry vision. Uh, you um, you're sensitive to light and and so forth. It's it was similar um, to having cataracts. The palm that I that I have, but I just can't think of what it was. I spent all morning trying to find what that certain vision problem was. I just, I couldn't find it. But 
I have about cataracts, astigmatism, yeah. So I have about four different vision problems. Um, when um, I went to Vision Works um, in 2016 and the person that I seen um, because I'm so nearsighted, um, it affects my retina. So at the more, as my vision progresses and gets worse, um, my, my retina slowly stretches. So that's what's going on with my retina. It's slowly stretching as my vision is getting worse. So the doctor that I seen assumed and was adamant about my retina being torn and then I needed to see a doctor um, and it scared me um, he said if you know I could go I could go blind if um, I hit my head too hard or if I rub my eye too roughly um, and it scared me um, I went and I seen the special doctor and he has the same vision like I do, but his is much worse than mine. And he did the examination. He said, no, your retina is fine. It's just your vision is so severe. You know, it's actually stretching your retina, but everything is fine. Um, and um, I automatically, I, I went from Vision Works to a new doctor that was down the street. <laughs> it was down the street from me. And um, this doctor was really nice. And um, he diagnosed me with the cataracts and the astigmatism and the uh, nearsighted and the, um, and everything um, that I have. And um, what he mentioned was that with my vision because you know I have the cataracts um, it causes me to see spots I get a lot of headaches um, my eyes are easily strained so um, if I'm playing on my phone or I'm watching TV or um, if I'm in the dark and I have my TV on or bright lights it will cause eye strainage and I would get a lot of headaches um, I'm very sensitive to light as well. Um, the light on my phone is very dim. So, um, and when I'm out in the sun, I get headaches. Like, as soon as I walk out in the sun, I get immediate headache and I start seeing spots. Um, and that's all normal for me. Um, but um, he did mention because you know, of me being so nearsighted and my retina stretching, he confirmed with what that special doctor had told me that he needs to watch for my retina. I think it's in my, in my left eye, um, because, my left eye? No, my left eye is, is 800 and my right eye is 1,000. So I think it's my right eye, um, because my retina is, stretching the more my vision gets worse so they got to keep an eye on that to make sure that it doesn't um, tear um, but if it does it doesn't cause any pain or discomfort it just um, I would just have to have um, retina surgery um, but they have to keep an eye on that and um, as well but when I go in for my eye exams I have to do like five different tests <laughs> like I got to do a lot of tests because of you know I have different problems with my eyes and because of my cataracts and my vision uh, slowly progressing I have to do all these special tests and also when you know because of the astigmatism and because of the cataracts um, you know, when I do my test, I don't do like the normal test where they put the, um, 
they put the machine over your eyes and you gotta look at the at the board and you gotta you know read off the letters and the numbers I can't do that task because I, I can't see a thing I can't see nothing it's just <laughs> I can't all I see is colors like all the um, also with um, with the with the cataracts I see colors I don't see any more detail like detail and things are like gone <laughs> so um, and um, it affects the color of my vision as well um, I have a hard time distinguishing between certain colors as well so I'm a bit colorblind as, as well um, and um, but as far as that's a little um, history and a little information on my vision and uh, a little history of it but um, also let me get into the glasses because this is what this video is really about glasses and um, just my journey wearing them um, I'm so used to um, wearing glasses it's um, it's my comfort so um, I remember there was a time when um, in 2016 um, I wanted to wear contacts so I went a whole year wearing contacts and the doctor gave me contacts and um, showed me how to wear them and, and everything and I wore them you know I felt great I felt confident I was like good I don't have to wear glasses anymore I felt good you know and um, I go back a year later and my vision is so much worse that's when my vision went to 800 to 1,000 because <laughs> it got a little bit worse. Um, and he told me that the sun, because I have cataracts, the sun is actually going to make my vision worse. Um, so I think it's in this eye. The cataract had actually seeped through. So I have a little bit of a cataract um, spot on my eye on my um, left eye here so um, I can't wear contacts anymore <laughs> um, and um, with my glasses I have to get um, with my glasses um, my vision because my vision being so bad I have to get um, transition lenses so those are the lenses that turn into sunglasses when they're out in the sun so um like these <laughs> when i'm out in the sun they transition and um i don't have to worry about wearing um these anymore <laughs> but i have two pairs of of um uh clip-on sunglasses um and um also um I have to get non scratch I have to get non scratch and um, uh, transition non scratch and um, non glare. So I've got yeah anti scratch, anti glare, and um, transitions for my glasses. So with all that, including my eye exam, um, it's about. Three fifty, four hundred dollars for everything. Um, yeah. Um, so um, they do recommend these frames for me. These are the frames that they want me to wear um, for my vision. Um, but. Um, there was a plan that I had before, but um, my insurance no longer covers the plan that I would get a free pair of glasses with my frame. So I would pay for these 
and then these would be free and these came with the last um, let, uh, frames that I had that broke this was the free pair to those frames um, and um, I have two of these these are they came in this case this is a new pair um, these were the free um, pair of um, glasses but these were the ones that um, broke on me so these are the these are the old pairs um, that I had um, so then they gave me these and this is the new pair um, they're the same same glasses <laughs> but these are the new ones that they gave me so this is my um, free pair um, my last free pair of glasses that came with um, these before um, they um, uh, took that plan off from my insurance so because I'm, my head is so small they had to bend the uh, frame here um, but yeah And if anything, um, I see better with these. <laughs> these this vision is more clear than um, this. But um, with the anti glare, um, that's the only thing that that bothers me um, with this. Um, it's not covered with that. Also. Um, Um, there's another pair of glasses. So I have three. I have three pairs. And this is the one that I carry in my purse. Just in case, you know, the sun is, like, too bright. Because sometimes, even though I have my transition glasses, I still get headaches. So I wear these um, as well when I'm out. Um, in the sun, so these I keep in my purse. And oh, here it is. Here's the here's the glasses that went with these. You see how <laughs> bent and broken they are. So these are the these are the glasses that I got from Vision Works before um, I went to <laughs> my primary eye doctor. Um, so these are the glasses that was given to me. So yeah, I actually do have both of them. So that's the case that it came in. Um. Yeah. And also with um my eyes are itchy. Also with like eye drainage, um my eyes are very you know, get very itchy and they get very watery as well. Um and they hurt <laughs> with eye drainage. Eye drainage is very painful, it causes migraines and it's not fun. But it happens all the time <laughs> it happens all the time to me. Um but yeah, with with glasses, it there's really nothing to be ashamed of. Um, just find a pair that suits you that you're comfortable in. And me, like, you know, I take pictures with my glasses all the time. I pose with them and everything. Like when I get a new pair of glasses, like I I feel so confident. <laughs> I I love. I don't know what it is, but I love when I get a new pair of. Frames. I really do. I love it. Like, um, but yeah, these these glasses were actually a hundred and fifty dollars alone. It was a hundred and fifty dollar frames. Yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah, that's um, a little history. Um, 
of you know my vision and um yeah um so yeah it's my my um i prefer now i prefer glasses over contacts after having contacts and um no one really told me like when i was in when i went to vision works um they did not tell me that it was mandatory well it was it was mandatory for me to have transition lens and i had to wear sunglasses when you know i was out in the sun he did not say anything to me knowing that i had cataracts he did not tell me it was mandatory and i needed it so you know when i went to this new doctor and he told me hey you know your cataracts um the sun is actually making your vision worse and your cataract is now on the you know there's actually a spot on the outside of your of your of your pupil you have to have transition lens and you have to wear sunglasses when you're out in the sun so um that was never told to me from the other doctor and um yeah so but yeah that's it for this uh, video if this is helpful um, in any way you're welcome and um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up like share subscribe comment and thanks for watching i'll see you next video